okay guys so welcome to another video in this video i'm going to teach you how you can split your wall into different colors how you can even add beds on it and even include your brick layer on it so these are all what we'll be learning by the end of this video stick with me so i will be using this building for for it and uh, first thing we want to do first is maybe okay let me click on the wall Okay, now let me suspend group because I can only work with just one wall at a time. I can't work with two walls. So I will click on this wall. The first thing I will do is that I want to change the wall to a complex profile wall. So is it that I come here, this structure, and I select this? Or you can, let me take it back. Oh no, let me, let me change. Let me, okay. I took it back and this seems to be. So, or well, I can come to my setting dialog box and uh, change it to this particular one. Okay, and click OK. Okay, forget about this color. So you can see I, I have changed it to this. So what I will do is that I will literally click, right click on this wall and I will look for edit selected composite profile. So this is what I'm going to click. <clears throat> okay. So now this is the session of the particular wall we want to edit. So what we want to do is to add a different color here because this is the outer surface. This is the outer surface of the wall. And also add every other layer I want to add. So we'll be using our fill tool to add this layer of color. So let me click on the fill tool. Let me, let me say give it a height of uh, 900. I see, so that is 900, I'll type in 900, okay. Then I'll take it out, remember I'm choosing this. So I'll take it out to maybe, let me give it a thickness of eight and say okay. So now this is the color we've added. So I will change, I will click on this feed tool and I will override the surface under components selected. So I will click on this. Greek, no, I will say, let me give it a dark gray color. Okay. That is it. Now I've successfully added that black layer color. So the next thing I want to add is the beds. Let me see, let me add the bed, the white bedding around. So let me give it, okay, let me give it a thickness of 75. And raise it to a height of maybe 120 or let me say 100. Enter. So I will click on this field and I will override the surface. I want the color to be white. So I will look for white, glossy white. Okay, so that is it. Now I want to add, so all what I've done is on the base of the wall. So I want to add the brick color on top of the wall. So I will equally use my feet to also. And let me see, let me give it a height of 450. 450 enter then the same thickness of maybe eight enter so now we'll click on this feed tool and i will override i will say okay yes this is the brick red brick okay so to add the button uh, under the brick let me just copy this i don't really need to use my feed tool i start uh, again, working on it again so i will just place it here and that is it so all I've done is that I've added the gray color. I've added the betting on top of it. I've added the betting below the brick and this is the gray clay also. All I used was this feed tool. So the next thing I want to do is just to save my profile. So I'll click on save and I will just give it a name, split wall. Okay, wall. And I click on okay. So the next thing I will do after saving is to apply it so that immediately to just apply, then I will cancel the profile manager here. So, okay, I think I made a big mistake. Uh, I want this wall to be gray. Oh, it's yeah, supposed to be gray here. Yeah, let me check. Okay, we've done a big mistake. So one thing I will just do is to take this back to I will just take this back, okay? 
Now nah, it's a gray color. So I'm taking the back, it's a gray color, okay? Everything gray. Let me confirm it's gray. So now nah, I want to remember we've already saved that what we edited. So one thing I will do is I will just come back, go to setting dialog, click on this, then I will go to the custom and look for that what I already saved, which is this plate wall. Okay, so I will click on it and then uh, click OK. Oh, the wall is already affected. Okay, it's not showing the original material we need. So I will just right click on it and uh, edit. Edit. So this remain bricks, this remain glossy, this remain dark gray. Uh, the end of the day, we apply and see. Let me go to my TV there and see. It's still not working the way we want. Uh, okay, let me see this wall. If this wall we respond. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me click on this setting and uh, let me add this. Oh, no, let me add this. Okay, I think we've made a mistake. Let's let's work with this one. Let's do everything over again with this one. Let me delete this and uh, let me match this one and uh, place it here. So let's do everything all over again. So remember what I did. I just okay. I changed this. I first of all changed this to a complex wall. So I came here, I right click on the wall, right click on the wall, edit composite. So all I did was uh, 450 for the brick, 8 thickness, then uh, 75 for the vaccine, 100 I, then I changed the material, okay, to white then this i overwrite the material to break okay so look and let me just copy this uh, without wasting much time to break the only thing i'm just going to do is to okay let me take it here 450 let me add uh, let's say i'm adding a uh, 300 okay so uh okay let me add the betting above it okay so i will change this now this one this feel i copied remember all i'm working in working with is the feel too so i will just change it back to uh dark gray because that's the color i want then at the end of the day i will say because i can't use that particular name again so i will just split what two two okay so i will okay and uh, apply and uh, cancel this and you can see all we want is already set then remember this is the slab we want this slab to be black dark gray also so one thing i will do is uh, i will click on this one right click and i can just edit so i will stretch this down by 450 because the slab thickness is 450 so i will stretch it down by 450 then uh, at the end of the day i save and i apply so this is what we have so i want to apply this on the rest of the walls so what i will easily do is just i will click on this pick up parameter that i want to pick up this design this wall design this exact wall and place it on this wall so pick up parameter i will click on it then I will inject it on the other walls. Okay. Okay. If you are doing this for the first time, you will notice that uh, there's kind of material lapses on it. So one thing I will do is that I will just click on this, click on this wall, and then I will go to my center dialog box and I will click on these two uh overlaid surface as any walls and align texture and uh, you can see now it's perfectly set so i can just easily 
pick on this material, pick on this material and then uh, place it here. So I will just be placing it like that till it goes round. Okay. Okay, let me just place it on this. Place it on this and place it on this. Okay. If you are not satisfied with the height you have here, you can easily just click any of the words, right? Click, edit, and uh, you can adjust the height. You can maybe take it down or take it up. But let me take it up maybe by 300 again and uh, raise this field to. Because if I don't raise this field to, let me show you what will happen. Save, apply, then I go to my 3D. You can see I refuse to raise that field too, so it's the original work color that is showing here. So, but if I come back to this edit profile and I raise this field to to cover, it's my gray color. I can easily save, apply, come back to my three D, and you can see. So this is how you can create different colors on a particular wall using Archicad very easily, and it won't interfere with the windows also to give way for the windows to also be there. So you can easily also change the height of this in case you are not satisfied. So this is how you can use complex profile to create different colors on a particular wall. Please, if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.